Namaste viewers, welcome to the Facebook live session. Our today's topic for discussion is common hand injuries and how to treat them. And for our discussions, we have with us Dr. Gopinath Bandari, consultant and wrist and reconstructive microsurgeon at Apollo Hospital Jubilee Hills, Hyderabad. Welcome, Doctor. Thank you. To start with, Doctor, what are the most common household hand injuries while performing day-to-day -day activities? Yes. Yeah. Uh, to start with, I'm Dr. Gopinath Bandari, consultant, hand, wrist, and microsurgeon at uh, Apollo Hospital Jubilee Hills and today we are going to talk about the common uh, household uh, hand and wrist injuries and the common hand issue, issues we all face with. So as, the, as you have asked the question, uh, the most common household injuries which we see in day-to-day -day, uh, activities are usually uh, women who are uh, doing their regular works in the kitchen like uh, cutting vegetables and uh, cutting uh, using the knife sharp objects they are prone for cut injuries to the hands and fingers which probably uh, in the starting may seem to be a very uh, minor issue but uh, that can be severe tendon and nerve injuries also so if these injuries are neglected that can lead to severe dysfunction of the hand and similarly, a lot of women who do not uh, take proper care while doing grinding vegetables or grinding uh, mixer grinders, they put their hand in the mixer grinders and because of that they are prone to mixer grinder injuries. So these mixer grinder injuries can lead to complete loss or amputation of the fingers and fingertips which can be very detrimental to the hand function. Similarly, we can see other injuries in household like children and toddlers who are going around and putting uh, accidentally their fingers in the doors. This can lead to door crush injury of the fingers. Because of this, lot of fingers are getting amputated and if proper care is taken, we can preserve the length of the fingers and sometimes save the fingers also. And the next common household injury is the gardening injury where people who are not trained or accustomed to activities like gardening have injuries while doing gardening by sharp object, objects, shovels or knives etc which are used for gardening, gardening tools. So these people uh, may be prone for getting their fingers cut and uh, amputations also. So these are the most common household injuries which we see in uh, within the house. Thank you doctor. Doctor, how to treat these injuries doctor? So these injuries first of all should not be considered as minor injuries because though superficially they seem to be minor injuries they can be uh, very severe they can be deep they can be having nerve injury tendon injury vascular injuries and they have to be uh, should not be neglected they have to be evaluated by a proper hand specialist and the hand surgeon will suggest the treatment according to the uh, severity of the injuries. Some superficial injuries can be treated by minor dressings but deeper injuries and amputation crush injuries they need immediate surgical intervention to restore proper anatomy and to give back proper function. So by surgical or by uh, simple mechanisms like dressings and also we can get back to uh, normal lifestyle by depending on the amount of damage has happened. Doctor, what are the different accidental and uh, occupational injuries that are common? Yeah. So again, accidental injuries due to road traffic accidents and motor vehicle injuries is a different uh, entity, whereas uh, occupational injuries is a different entity. So coming to road traffic accidents, usually people pro are prone to road traffic uh, accidents because of high velocity and high speed rack, rash and reckless driving most commonly because of uh, fall from the bike and fall from the uh, from a running vehicle these people are prone for traction injuries which are a part of polytrauma and these can cause injuries like a brachial plexus injury causing the entire upper limb to be paralyzed for life unless we intervene so this is a, another spectrum of hand injuries and many a times people are injured in a crush injuries of the hand, crush injuries of the upper limbs or the lower limbs. So these are the different types of injuries because of motor vehicle incidents. But occupational uh, injuries to the hand and wrist are different. 
for example software engineers these people are uh, continuously using mouse and keyboard and because of that their carpal tunnel is at risk the carpal tunnel is having a lot of pressure in these patients and they develop carpal tunnel syndrome similarly manual laborers who are using drill activities these people are are prone for again because of repetitive stress injury the tunnel is and the nerve tunnel uh, is overloaded and the nerve is compressed so occupational injuries can be because of such sort of a repetitive stress injuries and the other spectrum of the occupational health uh, hand hazards is because of different type of material used in the occupation like uh, poisons uh, poisonous chemicals uh causing burns to the hand or electric shock to the hand or sharp objects and drills which can cause amputation of the hand and crushing uh, of the hands so these are all the different types of occupational and uh, accidental injuries which we see in the hand and wrist doctor but how to treat this different accidental and occupational injuries doctor so any accidental or occupational injury have to be immediately rushed to the uh, emergency department their uh, emergency specialist will see and if any intervention is there from the hand surgeon meaning uh, i mean any hand injury or any wrist injury is present they will be referred to the hand specialist and even people should ask for a hand specialist so that they can get the proper adequate care which is need for the hand surgery so based on the amount of uh damage involved we would assess them and take for surgery immediately and uh, depending on the amount of crush injury we either take off the amputated parts or replant the amputated parts if at all necessary and also reconstruct the parts if the uh, their replantation is not possible so also we do small uh, types of flap surgeries to the fingers or fingertips so that the the fingers can be made functional at the same time brachial plexus injuries because of the accident also need a very schematic protocol regimen of treatment uh, which may include in a staged uh, surgeries in a staged procedure so all of these have to be uh, done by a hand surgeon and it has to be a proper follow up and a proper treatment surgical treatment is necessary for such injuries doctor there is one more question like why do our fingers click is it good sign or a bad sign doctor yes uh, first of all fingers clicking uh, is a very common uh, thing everybody also a lot of people do have habitual clicking and these are just because of gases in the joints this is a very normal and natural phenomenon nothing to worry but the second entity is locking locking is different from clicking locking can be uh, can be something called a trigger finger which causes locking of the fingers while uh, moving so when this when the patient fingers are moving the finger gets locked in such a position so that is a different entity and this is not clicking clicking of, of the fingers happens in the joints these are just some sounds which happen when we click but locking happens in the normal movement movements and the finger automatically gets locked and it does not get open or sometimes on pressure opens with a snap so this is called a trigger finger like who are prone to this kind of clicking and locking fingers doctor yes so locking of fingers or the triggering of the fingers are pro, uh, are commonly seen in two uh, varied age groups one is congenital that means when children are born with certain such such deformities it is called a congenital triggering this is more common in thumb so congenital trigger thumb children are born with a bent thumb so most of the times the parents do not no- notice until the child is of 2 to 3 months that the thumb is bent and it is not getting opened so after 2 to 3 months mostly the ch- parents notice that the thumb is not getting straightened that is the time they usually present to us and these sorts of congenital trigger thumbs have to be immediately released otherwise the thumb the thumb may be prone for a permanent deformity so that is an uh, one age group for congenital trigger thumb 
and then the other age group is usually seen in the very elderly age group of people more than 50 to 60 years of age these people they have diabetes hypertension and or hypothyroid or rheumatoid arthritis this sort of uh, multiple comorbidities where the tunnel uh, through which the tendons of the fingers pass this gets tightened and that is the reason triggering happens so there are two age groups for triggering one is the congenital that is the newborn babies or pediatric age group children and second is the adult very severe elderly age group people these two age groups are commonly affected by triggering how to treat them doctor yes so if we uh, uh, come to know about what actually triggering is so what happens while uh, moving the fingers every finger has a tendon going to the finger so this tendon passes through a small tunnel at the base of the finger when this tunnel gets tightened then the the, uh, the tendon pa passing and gliding through the tunnel becomes tight and that is when triggering happens so in the early stages of triggering when it is in a pre triggering stage we will be able to manage by simple massages if not in a pre-triggering stage if the massage is not getting relieved we can give small injection steroid shot into the tunnel and in late stages where the triggering is very painful and constantly triggering the easiest simplest solution is to release the tunnel so that the triggering gets vanished immediately within a minute after surgery so it's a very simple procedure which can be done as a out clinic procedure as a daycare procedure wherein the child a patient can come have the surgery done and go back immediately without much discomfort in the similarly in the pediatric age group also for congenital trigger thumbs the small tunnel which is tight will be excised during the surgery and the thumb can be straightened in the pediatric age group also so this is a very simple way which we treat triggering of the fingers and thumb why do some people have a severe pain or tingling or numbness in hand doctor yes so tingling and numbness in the hand can be multifactorial there are many causes for tingling and numbness and uh, it can be originating in the fingers itself it can be originating in the uh, wrist level at the carpal tunnel or it can be originating somewhere above in the elbow level or uh, it can go anywhere up to the neck level so anywhere uh, the nerves are compressed or irritated these tingling and numbness can happen if the most commonly what we see is the cervical radiculopathy where the nerves are compressed in the neck and that causes tingling and numbness of the entire hand but what is the the one which we most commonly see commonly caused by uh, software uh, so commonly caused in software engineers like using mouse and keyboards is the carpal tunnel syndrome where the median nerve gets entrapped in the carpal tunnel and they face uh, severe pain and tingling numbness in the fingers that is called carpal tunnel syndrome now to treat it doctor so as i said uh, carpal tunnel syndrome the carpal tunnel the median nerve passes through a small tunnel in the wrist so when the median nerve is passing through this tunnel it becomes tightened because of the tightening the numbness is persistently seen in thumb index and middle fingers so in such conditions when the complaints are very mild we can manage with some medications and night time splinting because pain is severe in the night but when the pain becomes worse and it is not getting relieved with medication and splints that is the time we need to operate and we do the surgery in with a small one centimeter incision or one inch incision either by endoscopic technique or by open technique and release the carpal tunnel and so and release the nerve so that the symptoms disappear so this is how a carpal tunnel syndrome can be treated by a simple surgery it's a day care procedure and patient will be able to get back to are normal within a couple of days doctor earlier you have you you have sharing it with us with people using laptops and all so now it is with due to excess usage of laptop mouse or holding phone for hours so movement disorder are common how do we combat 
them. Yeah, so because of prolonged, prolonged usage of laptops and mouse, keyboards and even phone, the, uh, the hand wrist joints are affected and we are seeing a lot of incidents of such complaints in the software engineers. So we, we can prevent such repetitive stress injuries by taking proper breaks inter in intervals and getting off the keyboard and mouse route, doing some exercises for the wrist so that the wrist ligaments are toned and the nerve is not stressed. And if the symptoms are more, we also advise a vertical mouse so that the wrist ligament is not as stressed when we are using the mouse. And uh, the carpal tunnel is not at stress when we are using the mouse. So that is the time we use vertical mouse so the, and vertical keypad so that the tunnel and the nerve will be free and at the same time the persons, uh, the people will be able to do their day-to-day -day activities and computer jobs. Doctor, regarding uh, finger clicking and tickling, as you have said, few, uh, after implanting a fix or fixing them, can the functionality be like before? Yeah, uh, in, after trigger finger surgery and all, uh, the function can be completely normal. 100% of uh, result can be achieved after the trigger finger release. And what is the emergency care or first aid to be done at home if any finger or wrist injury occurs? If there is any uh, heavy bleeding after any finger cut or a wrist cut, we have to apply proper pressure, apply some ice. If available, we put a sterile bandage and then rush to the emergency department for proper care. That is the thing you have to do at home. Sometimes when there is a complete amputation of finger or a body part, then the first aid you have to do is put that amputated body part in a plastic cover or an aluminum wrapper. And then that pa package has to be put in an ice box. That ice box has to be transported to the hospital within 4 to 6 hours after injury. The part has to be replaced, replanted within 6 hours after the injury. So early arrival to the hospital is mandatory for a successful replantation. Doctor, could you also tell us uh, different services that are offered for hand and wrist injuries at Apollo Hospital? Yes. So we are successfully conducting the hand, wrist and microsurgery clinics in the Apollo Hospital Jubilee Hills, uh, uh, serving different conditions in the hand and upper limb uh, starting from basic hand trauma to very advanced and complex hand trauma and disorders including wrist arthroscopy techniques which include minimally accessible uh, keyhole surgeries for the wrist ligaments and wrist injuries and uh, secondly brachial plexus surgeries who have paralyzed upper limbs because of brachial plexus injuries we do nerve transfers nerve uh, repairs or nerve grafting procedures or any secondary procedures. Third is congenital hand differences where children born with uh, the, uh, abnormal hands uh, during birth, those also people can be treated by different surgeries. Also nerve, nerve and tendon reconstruction can be done, electrical burns to the hand and post burn contractures of the hand can be corrected. and various deformities of the hand can be corrected. So these are all the different types of uh, uh, services we are providing at the hand, wrist and microsurgery specialty clinics at Apollo Hospital, Jubilee Hills. Dear viewers, we have come to our end of our discussion and hope we have covered all aspects. If you have further doubts, you can book an appointment with Dr. Gopinath Bandari, either through a physical appointment or an online appointment. The link is given in the description. Thank you, Doctor, Thank you. for educating our audience in today's discussion. Thank you, audience. Stay tuned for more such educative sessions. Namaste. Thank you.